Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be rigging this beautiful character that we made last time. First what I'll do, I'll place my character so he kind of stands flat on the, on the ground like this. Something like that. And then I'll press Shift C to center the 3D cursor. Go to Object, Set Origin, 3D Cursor. Like that. Now we need to add some bones. So just press Shift A, go to Armature, and that's it. Now you can move this bone up. So select it with left or right click, depends. Press G and Z to move it up. If you can't see it, that's good because you haven't clicked this icon right here. Now you can see it. And now I want to create a rig out of this. Rig is basically a skeleton that moves the muscles and muscles in this case are the model. So what I'll need is one bone here, one bone here. And then here we'll go for the chest bone, the neck bone. So just press E to extrude and the head bone then Z to extrude on the Z axis. We'll do legs first because those seem a bit easier. Before we do that we need to fix uh, the armature here so just move these bones so they're kind of in the middle of the mesh like that. Now select this bottom part of the bone here press E to extrude and you need to get a bone like this. Once you do press E again and press Z to extrude on the Z axis so now you can create the upper leg and then easy again to extrude another bone and that will be your lower lower leg bone. For the feet I'll need two bones, one for kind of the rotation of the foot and one for the toes. All I'm doing is pressing E and extruding, it's very easy and simple. Now I'll need the uh, shoulder bone here so I'll just extrude it and then I'll need another one for the upper arm try to center it always because it works much better with weight painting extrude once more for this make sure it's centered properly like that actually you know what we'll just extrude a small bone here to rotate the whole wrist then we'll need one for the thumb and one for the fingers. And once you have uh, one of each, you can just extrude like you had fingers, like that. Something like this for the fingers, and something like this here. Make sure it's uh, placed properly. Now this is a basic rig that you could use to animate something, but if you want to use inverse kinematics, and if you don't know what that is, just Google it. It basically allows you to move the whole arm with one bone. So if you want to do that, please follow along. If you don't, just skip to the next step. So if you want to use inverse kinematics, you'll need to create some control bones. First, we'll need one uh, for the legs. Actually, we'll need two for legs and two for arms. First, we'll need a pole target. You can extrude from the knee like this. And get a bone here and we'll need a control bone so extrude once more once you extrude them select each one of them go to bone tab down here and turn off deform this will make sure that this bone doesn't deform any mesh and then select each one press alt p clear parent now you can move it forward move the pole target forward and move the other one well you don't have to move it but just unparented alt p this is good and we'll need to do the same thing for the arm the control bone turn off the form alt p clear parent and don't move it and we'll need a pole target turn off the form alt p clear parent and move this one a bit backwards something like this so once you have these uh, all the all the things you need you can go to armature of course in edit mode up here and you need to start naming the bones. That's very, very important. So if you select a bone in uh, edit mode, it will highlight it. This will be kind of the, I don't know, spine one. Then just keep opening these menus until you name every bone. This will be spine two, spine three, spine four, and this will be the head. For the arms, we'll go uh, with shoulder dot L since this is the left arm 
make sure you type dot l that's very important here you can go with up upper arm dot l this will be the lower arm dot l this will be the wrist dot l then we'll get the well i can't see really well now this will be the thumb 1.l then we can go with thumb 2.l and thumb 3.l next the fingers fingers 1.l fingers 2.l and of course fingers 3.l now the rest of the bones first we have the hip bone so hip.l open this menu this will be the upper leg dot L then we have the lower leg dot L make sure you type L always with the same same type so I'm I type mine as big letters or capital letters you can write small ones then we have a foot dot L and we have toes dot L so we almost named the whole thing now we need to name these inverse kinematics bone, bones first off this will be the leg pole target dot l actually we can just name it leg pole dot l it's much easier and we know what it means this will be the leg ik dot l that's the control bone and for the arms the same thing this will be the arm uh, ik.l and we'll have the arm pole.l so the pole bones are the ones that are moved out of way they're kind of in front or in back and these control bones are ik bones once you did all this you can just press a to select the whole thing press w and here there is a cool function called symmetrize if you press it it symmetrizes the whole thing and now it works perfectly if you named your bones correctly, it should flip the whole thing. And everything, every bone is named with hip.r, leg pole.r, which means right. Now you want to make sure that everything is parented correctly. So if you go into uh, pose mode with control tab, if you go ahead and move every bone, you'll see that everything should work properly. I think hips are not parented properly. So I'll just parent the hips here. So take the hip right here. Actually go into edit mode, right click on this one, shift right click on this one, and then shift right click on this one, press control P, keep offset. Now in pose mode, I can move the whole thing. There's one more bone that we're forgetting. If you press shift C to center the cursor, and then press shift A to add a bone, it will add a bone down here. You can select that bone and press RX90. Or if that doesn't work, just select the top part here and press RX90. So just the top part of the bone. And I will just move it so it's a bit bigger so we can see it. This will be the root bone and everything will be paired to this one. Because with this bone we'll be able to move anything. Or move everything. Turn off the form here. And uh, try and name it. This will be the root bone. Once you're here, you can, uh, in edit mode, uh, select this part so the spine one and parent it to here with control p keep offset and now in pose mode if we move this it's going to move the whole rig actually not the whole rig we have a few bones left to fix that just select those bones so those are the pole targets all four of them and the control bones so just select all the control and pole target bones they look like this and then lastly select the root bone control P or sorry yeah control P keep offset now with this bone we can move everything the whole thing and that's very useful sometimes now the inverse kinematics uh, so in pose mode with control tab you can go in that um, you'll have to select each bone I'll show you a workflow for inverse kinematics and then you can just repeat it four times because you'll need to do that well four times so if you just select this um, lower arm you can go to this last tab well not last but 
you can go to bone constraints tab and then add inverse kinematics and you'll have a couple fields to fill out first you need a target so that is our control bone select armature go bone and find the control bone we name them arm ik and since this is the left arm we'll go with arm ik dot l and the pole target is the other bone so armature and find the arm pole dot l if everything breaks that means you did it right you'll need to change the chain length to two because you have two bones in your arm one and two upper and lower and if your fingers kind of flip you'll have to go to pole angle and do something like 180 it might be 90 for you it might be minus 180 you have to figure that out and for the leg you go also to the lower leg add inverse kinematics and do the same thing for the target select the leg ik dot l if you can find it leg ik dot l and for the pole angle again go to the armature go to leg pole dot l you can change the pole angle but first let me change the chain length to two again again we have two bones here it's pretty easy and the pole angle should be minus 90 yeah that's it so just put in here the amount that straightens up your leg it's probably like 270 90 minus 90 minus 180 or something like that now you, you can repeat the process uh, on both sides so you have them uh, both rigged I'll just fast forward through this once you've done that you if you just take the control bone and move it you will see that well something is not right here the thing is you can go to edit mode and with the arms you'll have to bend them a bit so bend them a bit backwards like that and you can just symmetrize this because it works best like that so in pose mode if you move the control bone you can see that it bends nicely and looks cool same thing for the legs this will make some things so easy to animate next time we'll be weight painting this but a rig looks pretty good and this should be able to animate pretty much anything so hopefully i'll see you next time and if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe and bye bye